Commercials and PSAs are meant to get a message or point across to the audience. For the most part, that's exactly what they do. But some companies take this a little too far in order to gain shock value. Sometimes, the company doesn't even know they're making the viewer uncomfortable. But then again, that seems to be the method for every safety PSA. Growing up, perhaps we were scarred or left questioning what we had just watched. In today's video, I'd like to take a look back at certain commercials and see exactly what made them so creepy. In other words, today, we will be talking about creepy commercials that actually aired on live. TV. Hello, what is up guys? <laughs> my hair is black now. It's my and my natural hair color is black, so we're back to black. I know that my hair was like green slash purple. That was not on purpose. This is what I was actually trying to go for. Also beautiful, make sure to follow me on Instagram. My goal is 30,000 followers by the end of the year, and I actually posted a hyper pop song snippet, which it's over there on my highlights. So if you want to go hear me sing, uh go over to my Instagram and check the highlight out. And also make sure to check out my second channel where I'm uploading a video that inspired this video. That's right. I inspired myself. It's a video from 2017 that I actually deleted. It's called Creepy Kids Commercials and it's if you want to go watch a 15 year old version of me talk about almost the same thing but less experienced with commentary, make sure to go watch that after this video. So the way this video is going to work is I'm going to be explaining what happens in the commercial and then I'm going to give you guys some context behind it. All right, without further ado, sit back, relax, grab, grab a glass of water and hydrate yourself and let's get started with the video. Cursed Japanese Kleenex Commercial, 1986. It's a fine day, people. The infamous Kleenex commercial depicts a woman and a baby sitting on a bed of straw with a dark red background. The woman wears a long white dress and looks perfectly normal. The baby, however, has been painted the same red as the background and wears a green wig with a horn sticking out of the top. The baby keeps their arms crossed and seems disinterested when the woman pulls a tissue from the box. She then lets it float away in the wind. A high voice sings along to an eerie tune in the background. This commercial was super difficult to find information on, but I did find some articles, but what I'm about to read, take it with a grain of salt. They claimed that many Japanese viewers complained about the ad being too disturbing, which led to Kleenex taking it off the air. There's also rumors that anyone who watches this commercial is automatically cursed, so uh, yeah, I just cursed everyone that watched this video. I really hope you guys don't believe in video curses, like, that's so stupid. There was also another rumor that the entire cast shortly died after the filming of the commercial, which... No. The actress is still alive and well and is named Kiko Matsuzaka. As for the rest of the crew, well, honestly, they could probably be dead by now. I mean, the commercial is pretty old, but I doubt it's because they were cursed. The song played in the commercial is It's a Fine Day by Jane and is actually a really good song. I love the singer's vocals and the music video slash song are about women becoming widows due to their husbands dying in the war. I looked it up on Spotify and found a bunch of club remixes. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Those are really good as well. Smokey the Bear, 1973. So the next time you're in the forest, be extra careful, okay? <laughs> if you knew it was me, would you have listened? Smokey the Bear is an advertising character created by the Ad Council and the U.S. Forest Service to raise awareness against human-caused wildfires. Starting in 1944, Smokey's campaign has been the longest-running public service campaign in American history. Over the years, the campaign has fed some questionable ads especially this infamous one from 1973. Actress Joanna Cassidy looks at the camera seductively as the camera pans slowly closer to her face. She talks about the forest and how we should all be careful with fire in the forest. Suddenly, her face turns into a mask and it is revealed that Smokey was actually Cassidy all along and asks us, if we knew that it was him, would we have listened? Work Safety PSA, 2009. I'm working overtime because I want to take my family on a nice vacation. This commercial shows a man talking about his family and then explains that they will soon be getting a call which says that he was killed in a work accident. Something blows up and sends him flying off the roof. I'm blurring it just to be safe, but maybe you guys can see his body ragdoll through the blur. And I'm not gonna lie, I was laughing so hard when I saw this commercial. It's just like, why did the directors make his body hit the truck and then hit the ground? <laughs> I just thought it was extra. Not only that, the video is in 240p and it just looks like five pixels going across your screen. So uh, I'm not laughing at his death. Actually, I kind of am. It's scripted. What am I saying? No, you guys have me so scared on getting canceled. Like I'm always like double checking what I say, but like this is a commercial. I can laugh at this, right? I mean, it's for work safety and I respect that. Hopefully it did get the message across, but I really think they could have uh, done a, just a little bit more, I don't know, serious. I don't know how to say it, but you know, I don't doubt other people laugh when they see this too. Kinder Humpty Dumpty, 1983. Kinder, you both shaky. Me on Scrabbly. 
Chaka Dooby! Dobby Chaka Dooby! Pop Swabble! <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with uh, kids' companies creating creepy mascots. In this video, we see a hyper realistic Humpty Dumpty opening up a Kinder Surprise chocolate while speaking gibberish. Whilst? Should I have used whilst in that sentence? I don't know. Not only does he look like me when I was a kid, but he's incredibly ugly and uncomfortable to look at. So yeah, he really looks like me. <laughs> so, sorry, I'm sorry. Little Baby's Ice Cream, 2012. I eat little baby's ice cream. It keeps me young. Okay, so this is definitely one of the more popular ones on this list, considering it has 18 million views here on YouTube. The clip shows a person covered in ice cream just, uh, eating themselves with some narration and a creepy song in the background. This was only one of a collection of short videos directed by Doug Williams, which is known for very, uh, very weird videos. The Little Baby's Ice Cream website is no longer working, but we can check out archives on the Wayback Machine. Going back to when this commercial was released, 2012, the website is really normal. I use the term commercial loosely because this was uploaded to YouTube. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, the website isn't creepy like the videos at all. The brand describes themselves as a handmade, small batch, super premium ice cream company that specializes in unique and surprising flavor combinations with additional emphasis on providing non-dairy and vegan options to suit every kind of open mind and convivial citizen. Little Baby's Ice Cream is literally just a wholesome ice cream company in Philadelphia. Or I should say was. Sadly, the company shut down in 2019 for reasons they didn't disclose. But while doing my research, I found myself asking who is the person in the video? Apparently, it's a person by the name of Asa Sheeb. It's probably a horrible pronunciation, but I'm sorry. If this is the correct person, then they go by they them pronouns and this is what they actually look like. I got these images from my Reddit AMA they did eight years ago, but they do appear in another of Doug's videos. There's actually an interesting video where Doug explains some frequently asked questions about the original commercial, like what the person was covered in. No, it wasn't actually ice cream, it was marshmallow cream. He also shows off the editing techniques. PlayStation, Mental Wealth, 1999. Let me tell you what bugs me about human endeavor. I've never been the human in question. Have you? Mankind went to the moon. This advert shows an alien looking Scottish girl talking about mental wealth. She's basically just talking about society, but I'm sure no one paid attention to what she was actually saying due to her face. She's a really scary looking girl in this commercial, and by the end of her speech, we see it's a commercial for PlayStation. Why? I have no idea. Like, she didn't even mention PlayStation in the video. The commercial was directed by the GOAT himself, Chris Cunningham, who is known for collaborating with Apex Twin on music videos. In case you're wondering, yes, they have the same type of weird vibe. I'm pretty sure he directed Robert Johnny, which we have spoken about in another video. I'm sure he made her speak nonsense so the audience just focuses on her looks rather than what she's saying. In an interview with Games Radar, we find out her identity, and it's Fiona McLean. No, she's not actually an alien. She explains that she was only 17 at the time and got the audition through her booking agency. She didn't know they were going to distort her face, so when she saw the video, she was shocked. Fun fact, she was actually paid 10,000 euros, which equivalates to 13,443 US dollars. She was also given a free PlayStation. Sugar Rice Crinkles, 1960s. Breakfast! I'm hungry! Take it from Korea. This commercial aired in the 1960s, and it's a pretty awkward commercial. Now, personally, I've never had a fear of clowns, but I do know that it's a very common phobia. Someone commented on my Discord video saying they couldn't sit through the video because I was dressed up as the Joker. Okay pussy. Well, am I gonna get cancelled for phobia shaming? Anyway, the commercial is mainly awkward because there's no background music like I said. And, well, yeah, it's a pretty creepy clown design. The clown goes by Crinkle and was the mascot for the cereal. Before Crinkle though, the mascot was an Asian boy named Sohai. Get it? Because they're rice crinkles? Rice? Asian? Yeah, pretty racist. They gave the Asian boy a stereotypical design, you know, lines for eyes and a racist voice that I bet I bet the voice actor wasn't even Asian for. And you know how cereals used to have toys back in the day? I don't know if they still do, but uh, their toy was so high pulling a wagon. So high pulling it himself. Shimiko, faster, faster. Calbi Consume Panchi commercials, 2007 to 2013. Consume, 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 punchy. Punchy, 
These commercials were made to remote chips by the Japanese company, Calbee, but they for some reason thought it was a good idea to use a, a human and a dog costume, and it just looks so unsettling. Not only that, but many weird things happen in these commercials, such as what seems to be a dark moment, the dog getting into a fight with another fake dog, and even getting abducted by aliens. The name of the dog is Calbee Consome Panchi. I hope I pronounced that right. If not, there actually is no consequence, never mind. <laughs> I have nothing more to say about this. I thought this was a little bit more on the funny side, but I remember when I originally did find out about it, it did creep me out and uh, definitely gave me some permanent memories. <laughs> Sunday Lunch 2006. Okay, so I don't know how much of this commercial I can even show on screen, even though it is scripted violence, which is okay on YouTube, but I really don't want to deal with a YouTube employee reviewing my video because in case you guys don't know especially if you upload morbid content sometimes youtube detects your video to have something bad in it which leads you to need a human review to make sure you can put ads on your videos which is so annoying but yeah i just don't want to do that so i'll do my best to describe it with screenshots from the video we start off with a family based in the uk gathering around for lunch Everything is normal and the young adults are talking about their days, until the camera shows the mother grabbing a pistol, pointing it at her son, and pulling the trigger. Yeah, she shoots her, like, 7 year old son in the head. The family freaks out and she begins crying as this text appears on the screen. Keep in mind, you can hear them all crying as this text appears. If you keep quiet about gun crime, it's like pulling the trigger yourself. The commercial was a PSA for UK gun violence, and we're gonna see a common pattern when we talk about PSAs because they really like using shock value to get the message across. Don't Drink and Drive, Jacqueline Saborido, 2008. My name is Jacqueline Saborido. This is a picture of me before I was hit by a drunk driver. This PSA begins with a woman holding a sign with her face on it, explaining she was in a horrible car accident in which two of her friends died and she ended up needing more than 40 surgeries. She pulls down the picture, revealing her new face. This is me when my life was just like anyone else in college. This is me after being hit by a drunk driver. Don't drink and drive. Ever. It's honestly horrible knowing that people are killed or left disabled due to drunk drivers or maybe even maybe even just doing more damage to themselves, but the woman in the video is Jacqueline Saborido and was in a fatal car crash in 1999 which burned 60% of her body. She was only 21 when her life changed for the worse. The man who hit her and her friends is Reggie Steffi and he got 7 years in prison for killing 2 people while intoxicated and disabling Jacqueline. Yeah, 7 years for uh, killing 2 people while drunk driving. Mm -hmm. When he was released, he and Jacqueline worked together to spread awareness of drunk driving. Sadly, Jacqueline passed away at age 40 in 2019 due to cancer. Adult Swim's The Dawn Is Your Enemy, 2005 to 2010. In case you guys don't know, Cartoon Network turns into Adult Swim at 9 p.m. Adult Swim is a channel with a lot of adult humor shows. This ad isn't promoting anything like the others on this list, it was just made to scare children. So let's say you're 10 years old and you wake up in the middle of the night for whatever reason and you turn on your TV and you see this. definitely scarred a bunch of little kids when this uh, commercial was airing. They also made a sequel. Uh, they released the second version named The Dawn Is Your Frenemy in 2020. <laughs> K-Fee Commercials, 2004. You might recognize this clip as one of the internet's earliest jump scares, but don't worry, I'm not gonna actually play the jump scares. So I still have to play the clip because I want to show you guys, so we're just gonna replace the jump scare sound with my beautiful voice. Rawr. So these commercials were meant to jump scare you, increase your heart rate, and then tell you, you see that feeling? That's what that's what our beverage can do to your heart. And make you energized, I guess. They had a series of these commercials. I'll play some of them now with, again, my amazing voice. Right. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. I'm bald. Subscribe to Tov. These commercials aired in Germany. I'm hoping they didn't air on any kids' channels, but if I have any Germans watching me, let me know if this is like a very popular series of commercials from back in the day. Also, let me know if Kefi is still around. The only thing I could find about the Kefi coffee energy drink hybrid was a description on bevnet.com, which was last updated, uh, it was last updated in 2004. Yeah, for some of you watching, your parents hadn't even made you yet. <laughs> I also found this website that 
also goes by kfee.us. It focuses on coffee, but no energy drinks. Could this be the US division or maybe just a coincidence? Honestly, from the research I did, I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is a fat coincidence. Burger King Snake Commercial, 2006. A man unwraps a burger, exclaiming, mmm, meat, in his head. He realizes that he forgot a soda, so he gets up. Then we see another guy in a blue shirt looking at the burger, wiggling his tongue like a snake. He even gets down on the floor and wiggles to the burger like a snake, with a song playing in the background that corresponds to the action. He stretches up to the table and opens his mouth as wide as possible, and fits the entire burger in his mouth and swallows it all at once. The other guy exclaims something in horror, and then the blue shirt male gets up and says, The Burger King Triple Whopper. Eat like a snake. I really wonder how awkward this one was to film. Again, for some of these, I just can't provide context. I just have to show you guys how creepy they are. I don't know why these uh, companies don't think about... I think these companies are really, really used to focus on shock value. They didn't even care if it was like bad shock value. They just wanted shock value so they remember the brand's name. But yeah, uh, <laughs> let's move on. Yoshi's Island SNES Commercial, 1995. What do you think of when I say SNES Commercial? If you said fat guy eating until he pops, then you would be right. When is too much, too much? To find out, we crammed everything into Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. 60 more levels, massive enemies, huge Yoshi tricks, all served up with the latest graphic technology, Morphmation. Mm -hmm. Sure you don't have room for another little bonus level? <laughs> Uh -oh. Super Mario World 2, only on the Super NES, still the big one. I don't know either. Again, we're talking about shock value here. Honestly, there's not much more context I can provide to this. Yoshi's Island was an amazing game, and I remember playing it on my Game Boy Advance SP. It has an amazing soundtrack as well. Very, very good times, very good times. Smoking Fetus, 1984. Never thought I'd say that. This PSA is an attempt to get pregnant women to stop smoking by showing a creepy 3D model of a fetus smoking a cigarette. Would you give a cigarette to your unborn child? You do every time you smoke while you're pregnant. Pregnant mothers, please, don't smoke. Call 453-4500 for further information. Fetuses in general are very unsettling uh, to look at for me personally. And hey, since we're talking about smoking cigarettes, if any of you smoke, please make sure to stop. A study showed that smoking cigarettes lowers your life expectancy by 10 years, and that doesn't include lung cancer. If you smoke, this is your sign right now. Quit it. And I'm not talking about weed, I'm talking about like cigarettes. You know, the only thing we approve over here is uh, vanilla cigarettes when I smoke that ADP pack. My favorite video I've ever made. I think there be, I think there need to be more, more about this. I don't think we talk about pregnant women doing, doing drugs, smoking, uh, drinking alcohol. I don't think we talk about that enough and I really respect it. I didn't mean to shoot daddy's gun. 2000. This is yet another gun PSA, but in this one, a little girl describes killing her older brother due to a gun being easily accessible in the house. This is my brother Omar. Well, there was a hole in his tummy. A bullet hit him. I saw a red grass. The gun was in the garage. I didn't mean to shoot daddy's gun. Didn't mean to shoot daddy's gun. Roof Seal Corporate Branding TV Commercial 2014 bonus this is a bonus because it's not really that creepy it's more it's more on the funny side oh and your roof is getting lost between the lichen and the moss when your mortar isn't where it ought to be and give it back that old appeal with a visit from roof seal 1 336 7070 let me know in the comments if you genuinely find this one creepy but anyway it's just the seal that works on roofs you'll be happy to know that he's still the mascot what's not to love about an australian seal fixing roofs trying to make a living you know like you, you can't hate on this dude bro you, you're trying to make a bag and clearly it's still working in 2021 so yeah, that concludes our list of creepy commercials that actually aired on live TV. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys want to hit the like button, if you guys want to subscribe, make sure to do that. Let's try to hit 40,000 likes. We did 40,000 for the last one, and I think 40,000 is a really good number. So let's go for the lucky 40,000 likes for this video. I don't want you to be subscribed for the content. I want you to be subscribed because of who I am.
Like that's a, that's a thing with a lot of here's here's the thing. Here's what I want to let you guys know before I go. When I made the whole like darkest YouTube iceberg and then I made three TikTok icebergs, people would refer to my channel as a iceberg channel and I I absolutely hated it because I am not an iceberg channel. I make anything I want, but it's morbid and I don't even have to stick to morbid topics. I could upload whatever I want. I'm not dissing anyone, but I am saying I have seen YouTube channels that only upload icebergs and then they upload a regular video, which is not about icebergs, and they get no engagement because they kill their channels. I tried my best to not do that. And it's safe to say that we have an amazing subscriber base that I really, really love you guys. And thank you guys so much for not letting me uh, stay in this box of iceberg channel because I've seen channels completely die. And my fear was being one of those channels. And I'm so happy that you guys really like me. Y'all gonna make me cry. All I'm saying is I hope you guys like me for who I am. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah, I'm talking too much. But I'll see you guys next time I upload.